Assembly of the laser module. This is the laser module. This is the parts package used. Get the tools out first. Use the second smallest hex driver. Other parts put away. This is used here. There are multiple holes. In fact, only two holes are needed. This height can be adjusted here. The laser module is assembled behind the Z motor. The laser module is 3 to 5 cm from the height below. Adjust the position of the hole to achieve this distance. Like here probably. Lock the screw. Lock another screw. Tighten the screws. The next step is to install the brass standoffs. Put a screw here. Then the brass standoffs is screwed on. This cable can be unplugged. Tighten the screws. Assemble this laser module behind the Z motor. See it like this. There is a hole here. Lock a screw. The bottom two holes also need to lock the screws. Then tighten all the screws. OK, now this laser module is assembled. Next is to connect the cable. Connect it. The other end is connected to the white interface on the side of the control board. Then tie this cable with a zip tie. Then cut off the protruding cable tie. Now it's all assembled. If using laser global software, the coordinate origin is in the lower left corner. This is the X direction. This is the Y direction. Before starting, you need to move the laser module to the lower left corner. This is the origin. Here is a button. Power on now. The blue light is on and the laser is powered on. The green light or red light is on, but the laser is not powered. Press this button. It's blue light. This laser is powered on. When turn on laser for focusing, it is found that there is no laser emission. Press this button. This is the focus knob. Turn on laser for focusing. Turn this knob, the spot becomes smaller. Laser module assembly is introduced here. The next step is to use the software. 